That's fascinating. And you found that, that you kept that? Oh, no, I have all my books. I have actually, I was going to bring, I have a, a book of Wallace Stevens's poetry, but it's, it's, the cover's fallen off and it's about to crumble. So I, I, I decided not to bring that. But there were, there's one line, which I think is so beautiful from Wallace Stevens. He says, it is not the reason that makes us happy or unhappy. The bird sings and its feathers shine. So you think, you know, we rationalize everything and try to make sense of things, but just the actual beauty of something is enough yeah. sometimes. And I think that's really a very sustaining thought. And uh, it's really something that I find very... Uh, uh, it, it, Grounding. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Think yeah. It, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful I line, mean, I think. It's, it's, um, it's what kept me going as a graduate student. Conrad Oberhuber, who was one of my teachers, really believed that beauty and seeing beauty was important that many art historians didn't really look at art that way. Mm -hmm. They looked at it as more a research project or a um, scholarly project rather than... Um, or placing something in the history of yeah. things instead of just looking at it, at it yeah. as a beautiful huh. object or thing. Yeah, it's interesting. And that, that really that, you know, he appreciated me because I really did see No, you have an beauty, amazing sensitivity. Beauty I mean, you have in really, art. Uh, so. you, you, you have a, a, a capacity to see something beautiful, but you also see... Uh, an intelligence in the beauty, which I think is something that a lot of art people, mm -hmm. they buy, or well, more and more, I think people, people buy brand names. But, uh, but I think that that insight into, which is just intuitive, and, uh, and, you've, and, you, and, you, and I think it's very hard to trust intuition because yeah, we're taught but, not to. Yeah. Uh, we really are, so. Uh, I, think, I think that's true. I do think, though, that um, there is that difference between that I wonder if if you can combine them both and have somebody that really looks at things as beautiful and also is a scholar that mm -hmm. knows about all these other things right. about about artwork. I don't think that I've ever known anybody that I feel really appreciates both, but a couple of teachers that mm -hmm. I've known, but mm -hmm. um, not many yeah. PhD types um, have this sense, or not many collectors. I think, you know, to myself, there's some people that collect only difficult works of art, mm -hmm. or difficult in both senses, um, the sense of, of, you know, sort of underlying horror or underlying disturbances or political art at, or art that, like Goya's series, mm -hmm. that I couldn't ever have that series of, of all those um, unfortunate humans that were going through so much. I, I couldn't live with that. Right. I don't no, you think. couldn't. But they are extraordinary. Uh, yeah, and I couldn't live with Bacon, even though I, I really uh, think either. Bacon's a, a good painter. I mean, Excellent. I think he knows how to. It's just too much painting. reality. Yeah, there is, and too much of subjects you don't want to necessarily get into. Right. 